Hey, this is Rob from Side Effects, and uh, today I'm going to talk about the Attribute Randomize SOP. Um, so I have a, a little setup here. Um, I'm using a scatter node with a sphere, uh, just to scatter some other smaller spheres onto this low, poly, um, low polygon sphere. Um, there's a video out there um, if you want to check out on the scatter SOP that kind of covers how to control the density and things like that, of um, and how to use this uh, scatter SOP. Uh, so let's jump into the attribute randomized SOP. Um, so I'm going to put this after the scatter. And as you can see right away, um, it's by default it gives me some random color. If I open up, you see it there, and um, also if I open up the geometry spreadsheet, um, I see all the different random color values there. Um, but this is uh, this is really great for you know randomizing things like P scale, um, you know, to give you some variation in some of the spheres on there. Um, you can normalize them if you need to. Um, and then you can also, uh, in this case, we should change the dimensions to one because we only need to um, have one dimension of P scale. Um, you can change the distribution a bit um, if you wanted to. Uh, you can make it exponential. Um, you can do a custom ramp uh, if you wanted to, which is also very handy. Uh, so that's providing sort of a lookup um, of those values. And so you see, um, sort of maybe a few more in this range and um, and then you could also uh, let's go back to the default um, change the global scale overall of the values um, and lastly um, and here to show you this back part here um, we can also visualizes points and so what this is doing is these are actually the values um, along that axis so I can lower the number of points but it's showing me that distribution so if you see if I start to spread this max value out it's going to increase so it's essentially using that as sort of a graph of what your values are. So um, I can even move this up. So now that I'm over one, you see that I'm seeing those values are, are um, you see how it's distributed along that curve. Um, and of course, it's a little bit less because I have the global scale set to 0.6. But if I did it that way, you see it looks a little more correct. Um, so again, the attribute randomized SOP, it's great for things like uh, you know values that are often um, always, you always need to be random like P scale is probably the one that I use it for the most um, especially when I'm dealing with things like um, you know uh, particle simulations and, and things like that let me plug that back in um, so yeah that's the attribute randomize